Welcome to a Cubase Tips tutorial video. I'm going to show you a really useful macro that you can create quite quickly to speed up your workflow inside of large orchestral templates. So a lot of people like to build a massive template or a master template that they work with. Some people have master slave computer setups, so all of the stuff is preloaded and ready to go. Whereas other people, they will make a massive template like the one we're looking at here, and they'll have multiple tracks which are enabled and a lot of them that are disabled. And what they do is they drill into the folder uh, of instruments they want to work with, they select the patches they want to work with, they enable them, and then you know they build up the palette of sound before they start working. Now, one of the drawbacks to doing this is you'll notice that all the stuff that you're not using that's disabled is taking up a lot of space on the screen. So look at all these patches that I'd have to scroll through all the time to find something. And it can be really a bit frustrating to work with. So a simple solution to dealing with this is creating your own custom macro, which you can apply to a key command and it will save you so much time. Now, this isn't a key command that's, that comes with Cubase. This is something you have to set up with the project logical editor. So in Cubase 11, if you go to project and go to project logical editor, it'll bring up this. Now, all we're going to be doing is telling Cubase what to select and then what to do to the selection. So in the top here, we're going to set our parameters up. For the filter target, we want to make sure it's set to property. For the condition, we want to make sure it is set. And then for parameter one, we want to tell Cubase that it's disabled, so select is disabled. So essentially it's going to look for anything that's disabled in the template, okay? Any instrument tracks that are disabled. Now, this is where we tell Cubase what to do with those things once it's found them. So we're going to select track operation under action target tab. And then under the operation tab, we're going to select um, hide track, okay? So at the moment it's going to look for disabled instrument tracks, it's going to select them and then hide them. But we don't want to just hide them, we want to have the ability to show them afterwards. So in parameter one, instead of leaving this as enabled, we want to set it to toggle. Once you've done this, go up to the top and store this as a preset that you can recall. So I'm going to put Marcus video preset and click OK. And now this will be stored as a macro that we can key bind inside of the key command editor of Cubase. So I'm going to close this, go up to edit, go to key commands. And then in the search box at the top, I'm going to type in Marcus and you'll see here we've got the Marcus video preset, which is now showing under the projects uh, process project logical editor folder. Now we need to assign this to a key. So if we go over to type in key and then literally all you do is you just literally type in the keys you want to use this command for. So I'm going to go control alt and whatever this key is and it will show it. And then we go to assign. It'll moan at me because I've already got this assigned beforehand. And, and now it's applied to that key. So when I click OK, we're all ready to go. So let's imagine we've got all those patches loaded up and we want to hide all of the disabled tracks. I just simply press that key command I've created and there you go. It hides all of the disabled tracks we're not using and it only shows me the tracks that are enabled in the project. Now let's say I want to show all of the hidden stuff again. I just press the same key command again and it will show me everything that was disabled. So if I suddenly decide, oh, okay, I need these patches now, I can go in and uh, enable these, for example. Okay, brilliant got those added in let me hide the rest of the stuff I don't want to see hit my key command and there we go they are back in really simple really powerful hope you found this key command useful thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video